I get sick to death of playing my own songs at home. The only time they're really alive to me is, is you know, standing in front of people because you know, you, as a performer, it's not about you. You're giving to people. You're, you're expressing you know, more or less on their behalf. That's why you, you know, we all have songs, you know, either in good times or bad, we'll have you know, some song we'll, we'll hear maybe for the first time and we'll listen to it ten times because we, it, it touches us so deeply. We're never thinking about what the what the songwriter think or feel when he wrote that, we, we give a shit. You know? it's, it's, it's how it touches us, how it affects us. And I guess I've always been fascinated by any artist with the questions of life and death and what they mean to us and, and growth and change. Yeah, I had an especially trying time in my life. Everybody has them. And then about a year later, this really important show landing on the same day is this really horrible experience. I thought, well, if I can get through this show, then I'll have a different memory of that day. And I uh, started writing this song. Got it stuck deep down inside. I can know the feeling where your heartache resides. Nothing scares me more than falling in love. Guys, where they fell the foam by the branches, I'm crazy. There's a room full of bones and a river of blood. Lead to the bones of anguish and sorrow. Brought it on myself like a junkie I needed. Bring it on tomorrow if I try. Wake up every morning with a cavernous pain When they drove down that sea Deep into my soul I can get myself past that death-defying day You know that I live longer in my lonely, happy way I'm conflicted, I'm no victim There's strength Madness, weakness, and rapture If there really is an answer You can take me to Afterlife Or you can take me Take me to Afterlife Yeah, a lot of people think it's about death Because the title being Afterlife But uh, there are a lot of cultures in the world where People even change their names two or three times as they undergo great change and great growth. It's one of the most you know, difficult times in your life are often the biggest sources of growth and change. Doing all the searching like a speed like a bamboo. The hungry verses of my poetry and curses in a strange and lively way. It all comes together. And a little light it lingers through the fog and freezing weather. I'm alive. You hear cheering, hear crying, it groans as if I'm dying, but it really doesn't hurt more than any standard torture. Long as I am standing, I'll tell you what I see. When it all comes from the fall, tell me, is it me or am I crazy? I'm conflicted, I'm no victim of strength and madness, weakness and rapture. If there really is an answer, you can take me to the afterlife. Or you can take me, take me to the afterlife. We always survive when we least expect it, you know, we always make it through things discover our greatest capabilities under our greatest hardship. Probably do. Time to chart it out, to share with the few, so we can see it once in a strange and lively way. 
And if we all stick together through the fog and freezing weather, we're alive. But you heard cheering, hear laughter, but you're not in the hereafter. You're singing this world, and ever that's in life. With every heartfelt change, you build a stronger person. You're standing here in front of me and living in your afterlife. I'm conflicted, I'm no victim. There's strength and madness, weakness and rapture. If there really is an answer, you can take me to the afterlife. Or you can take me. You can take me, take me to the afterlife.